Alright, I want to get that IS-2. Oh, that's my kill. <laughs> oh my god. Alright everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by for another episode of War Thunder. Today we're going to be playing as a Kungsteiger. Um, got this unlocked pretty much just right before the <laughs> battle pass was about to end. So I kind of had to spend a little bit of my own money to get it done. To get uh, the levels close to where I need to be. So I think I spent right about like 10-15 bucks or whatever. I th yeah, it was this. So I bought this one and went through it quite a bit. So it's like 16-17 actually. Because I just wanted to make sure I got it. Because I bought the battle pass and I was like, oh, I'll probably make it through it. And then I didn't. So, but hopefully this battle pass I haven't bought yet. I don't know if I will. To be honest, um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Should I buy it or should I not buy it? Um, if you guys say I should buy it, I'll definitely probably I'll buy it because why not? Whatever. Um, if not, I'll probably just pass on this one and just kind of just work on it as is. And then maybe if I change my mind later on down the road, then I will buy it. I don't know, but we'll see. I don't know if I want to spend uh, money on it, however much it is. Uh, it's like 16 bucks or whatever. And after taxes and everything, it goes up to about like 17, 18 dollars. So, yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, like I said, we'll be doing playing as a Kunsteiger. Um, yeah, well, we can do I play that as a Tiger 2P, it's basically a Tiger 2P, but without the side skirts and all that. And that Swedish, I think they bought or captured or whatever, and they used it for the weapons testing and then. Blew this thing to pieces, and uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's anything left of it. Um, but yeah, there's a video I'll link down in the description that you guys can watch. Um, I think it's from the you know, one of the tank museums. I'll, I'm not exactly sure which one, but like I said, I'll I'll link down the video in the description so you guys can go ahead and watch that. But anyway, um, let's get to the battles. All right. See how well we can do in this first battle. Um, I'm still running uh, the sound mod. I believe it's called the Realistic Combat Sound Mod. Um, it's been one of my favorite sound mods. I tried out a couple other ones, and this one's been my favorite, just the way it sounds and everything. I do have another sound mod it's, uh, with the character voices. I think they kind of took it from uh, Medal of Honor. I believe that's the game. I'm not too sure if I like the voices compared to like the stock War Thunder voices. Like the tank crew. But other than that, it's a stock game. But I think honestly with this map I think I I think I can do five kills. If not more, honestly. Depends, we'll see. I mean we're going against Germans, Russian Russia and uh, Japan and France.
is my game being so laggy right now? Oh, come on, go, 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 go. hit from him. Got a Yag Tiger over there. We got a Ice. And I'm gonna get the bombs. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Hop back into the Tiger 2P. I wanna go back on that side. That's too bad. I, I don't know why I hate... Yeah, skip confirmation. I checked out all the damn time and... Whatever. Anyway. I clicked on the other side, but whatever. I guess we'll spawn. I guess we'll be on this side. At least I thought I clicked on the other side to spawn on that spawn point, but... Oh well, no big deal. I really like using the Yak Tiger. Just thinking about it because the other person using the Yak Tiger. It's a good tank, but man, it's sides are weak, but the front of it's strong. I can't remember how much armor it has on the front of the tank, but it's uh Quite a bit. Blow off my tracks. What the heck, man? trouble we can get ourselves into. Oh uh, yeah, Tiger's down. Try to get on that flat side of him. Right there. I guarantee I would have killed him. Well, how many kills did we get? I think five or six. Yeah, six. Not bad. Not bad for the Kunensteiger. Not my best performance, but... <laughs> been a little bit since I played uh, War Thunder. Took a little bit of a break to finish up schoolwork. And luckily school is done. College for me. Uh, until... I think the second week of September, and then I'll be back at it again.
Well, luckily, I'm only taking three classes per semester, so it's not like an unbelievable amount of work. But uh, I do like to procrastinate on a lot of things, and for the ones that watch the channel, you know I like to do that. As well as I get overwhelmed and I'm like, oh crap. So, but yeah, no. But hopefully I get this video out right away for you guys. Actually, I should get it out today. Granted, I'd rather be outside right now. Looking out my window, I have my fan blowing on me, but... I put a fan in the window. Just why not? Whatever. I like fresh air. But no, it's absolutely nice out right now. A little bit of overcast, I do. It does look like. But, uh, we'll see. Apparently a lot of people are using the M109Gs today. How do you guys feel like having modern, more modern artillery pieces uh, going against old World War II vehicles? I don't know. I think, I know Phil Daly made a uh, video about how he feels about it. I watched, started watching it then I was like, I want to make a YouTube, or uh, work on the video now. Actually, believe it or not, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have got back into War Thunder. So. I was like, the thing is, like, isn't this game free to play? And I go and look, I'm like, oh, well, I already do own it. So I was like, Oh, well, you know what? I might as well start playing it. And then I start playing it. Obviously. If it's one of the, actually the person that first started playing it was my brother. But, uh... Taking massive uh, rocket fire. Not good. By. Nice to get that gun back up. A uh, tad low, but I took out his track. That's whatever. That IS2. Oh, that's my kill. <laughs> oh my god. We got anything further down? Apparently, there's an M4 somewhere. Where is he? Oh, right down on that side. It's funny, literally, I was just about to go and look over there. Yes, please, spawn me in. I gotta kill that M4. Planes everywhere. Yeah, I was like getting into a down tier and just going against M4s. American tanks and I, I don't know it's like you're a god god mode you know obviously I'm not talking about the what the as soon as I was about to turn my gun he probably got me yeah oh he's a hell of an M4 player Wow. All right, well, that's going to wrap up our video of the Koenigsteiger. Like I said, I'll have the video of uh, the Tank Museum's um, whole entire history about this Tiger 2P down in the description. So if you guys want to check that out, 
by all means go ahead check out their video um i know this video is a little bit shorter not crazy kills and whatnot but more or less just trying to have fun i don't take worth i mean i do take worth in a serious don't get me wrong i really do but i'm not gonna get all upset if i die a lot which i i'll be honest i i do sometimes and i'm like okay i just need to take a take a 10 minute break walk down my living room or whatever and take a break uh so i don't but there's been times where i'm like oh this mouse i'm about to throw you through the wall and it's not the mouse's fault it's my horrible playing but anyway if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like, leave a like. if you guys enjoy the channel please subscribe um if you guys also want to see me do another tank or vehicle of any sorts let me know um i've been obviously think thankfully for the kun and Seger, i've gone through like most of the swedish tanks like nothing I literally just started researching this BT-76 the other day. I go back and work on that Panzer IV. Because I'm just bouncing around, really, and... I don't know if I'll continue to go th for the higher tier tanks. Higher rank tanks. But, uh... Because obviously Germany is my highest... My furthest I've gotten. Being at, uh, rank 6. So... But yeah, no. What am I researching now on this? Oh, that's right, the Leopard. A1, A1. Interesting name. Um, but anyway, so here's all the German tanks. If you guys want me to go back and do another video on any tank, it doesn't matter which one. The USSR. Bingo Bongo. Great Britain. I'm stopped working on them. Just because of working, trying to get the... Doing the Kunensteiger and just playing with that a lot. I kind of stopped working on USSR too because I kind of just hit that point where it's like I like the IS-2s but they suck like well I suck at playing them but uh yeah anyway I, I would like to get to, to the higher ring Russian tanks but that that's just a weird tank it looks like a pancake object pancake that's what they should have called it object pancake because it literally looks like a pancake review it it looks like a pancake, like at least a turret. But apparently they wanted pancakes when they uh, designed that tank. So someone was eating pancakes and they put a pancake on top of a, uh, a hole. It was like, oh shit, object pancake. There you go. But anyway, once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.